any attack. Uh, if you become too much uh, under pressure, especially in the defense, uh, uh, on the end of the day, this uh, will not pay off uh, totally. Yes, I mean, um, I think that uh, we will be seeing probably penalties. I mean, uh, I think uh, Ege has been attacking a little bit more consequent, a little bit more, not a lot more, but enough that if they do, they can repeat that kind uh, of uh, attack in the second half. Maybe uh, they can have a chance to score because they almost uh, had a score uh, in the few times they attacked because they were very precise and they put a little bit of pressure. The problem is that they cannot achieve more than one or two waves because then the ball gets lost and then they are back towards um, the t Turkey because they, fin they finish uh, the, uh, defense so well. So if Ege can keep an attack and maybe have four or fifth wave, maybe then I think that would be the possibility for them to score. Again, uh, repeating myself, uh, I feel like 100 times, uh, the domination in the middle part uh, up to the second lane uh, is important in uh, every underworld rugby game. If you don't put constantly players there, uh, you will miss uh, pu uh, the uh, player to where you have a chance to pass to. So if you don't, uh, if you only go in, 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 in on the basket, yeah. Alone, and you, don't yeah. you don't score in the, in the first uh, two times, then you are under pressure. And the risk to lose the basket, that's it's very high, easy. Yeah. To, uh, it's uh, you block the the, uh, the the ball, and then uh, you go to the surface, and then the whole attack is it's over. So it's important to keep the the ball down, and. Uh, and also the amount of players, I mean, right and left, so that you have uh, always the chance to move the ball around. Let's see, we have, I mean, the second half already started, but uh, we cannot see the game yet. No, we only can see us, which is not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not but so not interesting. Not for the people, exactly. So now here we are, uh, I guess, uh, on to the tag, I mean, um, my feeling is throughout the first time, I guess, start being a little bit more um, having the domination of the team uh, of the of the game a little bit more uh, than the, they start and it was equal and then it was progressing and have a little bit more uh, ball possession and attack toward the finished basket and um, let's see if they can uh, continue building up and uh, that would mark the difference now we are uh, on the Finnish basket and uh, we have uh, the goalie and the defender in position and Ege is trying to come over the close side uh, but the four checking of the Finnish uh, are trying to give them away. We have already the Ege play on top of the goalie uh, but they had to withdraw and uh, now they are regrouping and coming in but uh, the Finnish uh, defender got the ball and is trying to swim away uh, and pass the ball still where I mean however within the three meters line uh, close uh, to the basket and uh, Eger is trying to recover the ball and we have now uh, a fight again in the middle field uh, the Finnish player got uh, recover the ball from Ege and is trying to swim, but the Ege player recovered it. I mean, it's amazing. It's just, you know, going like a ping pong. The ball is changing the uh, b within the two teams. And now Ege is on a counter-attack, but it was uh, slowed down by one of the of the Finnish uh, players. And now we have um, the ball in the surface just above the basket of the Finnish uh, basket. And let's see uh, who has it. Eger. Eger is trying to uh, keep the ball farther, and now the uh, attacker is coming onto the goalie. We have been uh, stopped by the defender. They're fighting on the ball. We have two other players from Eger that recover the ball and withdrawing and going around the three meters, half a circle around, giving the uh, playmates them some uh, time to uh, recover, to get some air, and start attacking. Again. And this is what I was meaning before. If they can keep this kind of pressure and come in into waves, uh, the Finnish team is a great defender, uh, but uh, this is the only chance they have to force a mistake uh, on the defense. Yes? Yeah, but uh, they don't use uh, the uh, possibility uh, when they are in the attack that always you can see two players on the surface, one is going to exchange. That's two less underwater, yes. two less on the bottom. No, no I'm agree. So I ba agree with you. Basically, you have, uh, if you have an attack, uh, in attack mode, you have uh, two goalkeepers, two defenders, uh, which will be exchanged. So, and the offense team has always five people to 
uh, can attack when they don't include aggressively the goalkeeper. So that makes us, uh, now we have a class on the surface which uh, doesn't have at, at all. Uh, so let's see yeah. what. So, oops. Six minutes left here in this uh, second, second half. half uh, Finland against uh, uh, Turkey, and it's still 0 0. And both teams are really on the, uh, how do you say, uh, eye level. It's Augenhöhe uh, in the German. I don't think you can translate it. Uh, one same, one. same attitude. Yeah, the oh. same style of playing, and uh, they are fast, uh, they, can, uh, they are forceful. They can play physical underwater rugby uh, with one-on-one uh, -on -one fights. Um, I mean, it's a great match. Uh, it's really yeah, great it's to see, you know, the, the yeah. patterns of attack and defend and how they defend and the forechecking, how yes, they recover the ball, how they build up the counter attack. Yeah. Two, three. I mean, it's really uh, great. Yeah, and where we have an attack from the close side, uh, the Eggy player is going uh, on, the, was trying to go on the head on the open side of the uh, Finn uh, goalie. But uh, he was pulled away, and uh, now Eggy is again on the heavy attack by the forechecking of uh, the Finnish team. And uh, the Finnish team uh, were successfully uh, recovered the ball, but uh, instantly they are under attack by Eggy on the surface. And uh <coughs> it's difficult for both teams to, to move forward. Uh, in this uh, close quarter fight, it's like uh, hungry dogs going for uh, for the meat. It's it's really fast, and uh, <laughs> they they snap at each, at each other. I thought you were vegetarian. <laughs> I am vegetarian. But I have so how you can you describe so those things? Uh, uh, well, I'm I'm uh, realistic. Stay focused. I'm realistic in this world. Stay focused. I focus on you now. Good morning, Levin. Good morning, I hope you're uh, enjoying Levent. the game. Great, great tactic from Ega and also from the Finnish team. Uh, so, uh, we have now in the surf. But, but what happened there? They're taking a break. So they, they don't. Yeah, that was a Descent, post. something like that. Uh, the, the and what I'm surprised that the Finnish team let, let them do that. So Keep the ball, stay on the surface. If Ege keeps on uh, pushing on the, on the basket at this uh, moment, they know the time is ticking and uh, they put more and more pressure on the basket of the Finnish team. So I think we should see uh, uh, a goal then, but uh, the, the Finnish team is quite experienced and uh, it even looks easy for them to fend off the, these heavy physical attacks. And uh, Ege comes in with one player on the open side. Uh, the ball is pushed to the close side, but every time a player is close to the basket, he's uh, pushed away or yeah. tackled away by a Finnish player. They're quite effective in doing that. And uh, you can imagine Ege is doing a very good job and putting pressure on the basket, but they uh, don't succeed. And you see them uh, struggle. Now we have a chance. Um, there was no defender, but it took the Ege player too long to uh, get the ball from his uh, teammate right in front of the Finnish basket. Um. They are doing a great job, the Finnish defending, very, very effective. And uh, they, they, I mean, Eger is there trying to work to build up their waves, but um, they cannot generate really pressure. I mean, they, um, they are stopped uh, on time and it's amazing how the Finnish recover the ball and swim a counter-attack like if they were, I mean, like if they weren't defending for five minutes. Yes. The uh, underwater time is great, the tactic is great, yeah. the technique, I mean, both teams are showing uh, a great display of rugby, it's very, it's fl uh, the flow fluid. is so yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. so it's fluent, it's one, I, mean, I think it's, it's one of my favorite games right yes. now, this, oh, this is an attack from Ege, the, 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 the defending team uh, of uh, the Finnish team was uh, almost too late at the basket, but the uh, Ege player was stopped by a forechecking player before he could reach the basket. Now we have an Ege player under the Finnish goalkeeper, and uh, this is this is uh, a moment where a, tor or where a goal could happen. But again, uh, very good work from the uh, Finnish uh, defense. They succeed every time to fend off these attacks. And now Ege is uh, under uh, pressure. And they got the ball. It's so much fun to watch. Yes, it's really yes. And really, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, oh! No! Wow! Oh! No! This was just uh, was a, a Finnish player stole uh, the basket. And there was a cluster on the surface. The ball was dropping down. And the Finnish player was just 
pulling it in. There was no, there was no defense. There was no goalkeeper. Completely empty basket. Because they a thought big, big mistake yeah, left on the Turkish it, side. Amazing it, it because they haven't uh, done any any mistake uh, at all uh, within the the, 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 the the I mean throughout the whole game. And that was such a big mistake. I mean, I would like to know. I mean, what happened that no player even saw uh, that the, the basket was empty and you know just lie on top of it. I would I'm, so I'm so surprised. Important. And there's a timeout now for uh, Ege. Ege. Yeah, sure. But uh, they only have uh, I think one and a half minute left uh, in the second half, and uh, it's it's really big surprise. Uh, we haven't seen any mistakes in this game from both teams. Uh, it will be uh, next to the game uh, Orcas Molde and Bamberg uh, games. One of my favorite games to watch and learn on yes. uh, water rugby Great. and to show probably to really? my team and to the youngsters of my kids team because uh, Great, great underwater play. rugby, the great for checking, uh, the way it should be. Swimming, strength, swimming, yes. uh, agility. I mean, Ball in the, in the move uh, all the time. Not much uh, safe play, but an uh, open uh, style to play. Um, okay, one minute left, and now Ege has to go forward with everything they have, and the Finns will finish. Finish, uh, <laughs> will. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Nobody hears you, York. You have to use a microphone. <laughs> oh, we have a private talk now. Can you wait until this game is over? Then we can go uh, outside. So, 45 seconds. So, so the game is over. Um, the game is no, never over. There is always <laughs> another game. <laughs> but uh, now, now let's see if Ege uh, goes in. And uh, So why did the player on the surface wait of Ege? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's I ask myself. There is one player, the goalkeeper, one, waiting. Two, 20 seconds three, left. Three on the surface. Everybody. They, 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 now the finish are just waiting the time. This is... The ball was outside. Free, free throw against Ege. Last chance for Five Ege seconds. here in this game. Finland. Five. Three, two, two. one. So, 1-0 for Ryusuke. Congratulations. I mean, Ryusuke is on the fifth place of this championship. And Ege did the sixth place. And Levent uh, mentioned that last year, Ege University made the seventh place. So, that means already being in the sixth place. Um, there's an improvement uh, on this year in the position. Um, well, uh, um, I'm, I'm um, the... the, the Turkey yeah. and Ege <laughs> does not have to prove uh, its value here by the no, rating no, in the champion. No, I'm just, I'm just telling by the rating in this uh, Champions Cup. I know it's uh, uh, it's a good sign if a if a uh, team is high up in in, this, in the scoring list. But uh, uh, the the rugby we see from Ege is the important thing. And uh, compared to uh, uh, Finland, Ege is a young uh, underwater rugby country and. Uh, to compete uh, uh, against an experienced team like the Finnish team, the way they did uh, what we saw right here is just uh, uh, amazing. And it uh, shows us, like I said yesterday, the, the direction of development uh, of underwater rugby and Turkey. And uh, these new, new underwater rugby nations, and I call them new, but uh, uh, they still play for several years. But compared uh, to the Nordic uh, underwater rugby community, uh, uh, Turkey is quite new. But uh, um, this is what underwater rugby needs, new developments in new countries with probably a little bit uh, less of history and a fresh start uh, to, to give new impulses to the to the whole community and uh, like I said already yesterday I see this coming from uh, uh, Turkey a lot uh, uh, Australia Singapore and uh, Colombia uh, hey here's Winnie again good to see you Winnie good morning coming up uh, Langen versus Akaren hmm?